do me a favor and subscribe. As you can see, this is an Adidas 4D box, size 10. So this is 44 Europe, Ultra 4D. I'm going to customize these. This is some white tape and I'm going to tape the part I'm going to remove. You can use an X-Acto knife, but I have a blade here, a pencil to draw the lines where I'm going to punch the holes for the laces. For punching the holes, I'm going to need this hole puncher. Pharrell laces for when I'm done. This cage is sewn, it's stitched into the prime knit. As you can see, the sneaker is way more relaxed. The prime net is more relaxed and the stitches are gone. From the edge here down, I'm going to basically tape. I'm pushing the prime net away from the cage while I'm cutting to avoid cutting the prime net. Right, so I hope that the camera will pick this up. I think it will. As you can see, those are the lines, the centers for the laces. All right, so I had to do a section with the likes and the dislikes on these Ultra 4D after wearing them. The prime knit is snagging a lot. That's really, really bad in my opinion. The prime knit design kind of stops there in the middle. Those lines should have gone higher. They are kind of heavy, but uh, I got used to that. The back part is kind of meh. There's less padding, less foam compared to the original Ultra Boost 1.0. 4.0 for example it seems like they had to cut costs for uh, using that uh, 4d sole the things i do like about these first of all the price i really like that heel cup in the back how it's curved i really like them this is a very sick fire sneaker in time they are comfortable and i actually got some compliments about these while wearing them <laughs> 